Hi, I'd like to explain what I'm doing here. This is my um, HHL generator. This is an amp gauge. I've got a tank here. The water comes down from the tank. It goes around both sides of the generator. It produces hydrogen oxygen. It comes up to the top of the tank. It goes from the tank down this black tube into a bucket outside. And that's where you would see bubbles. In this unit, we have a fan that's, cools de that's cooling down the uh, pulse width modulator. That unit will allow me to control the amount of amperages I put into the unit. This here is a fusible link, a breaker in other words. What I'm going to do is I'll attach, attach this to the battery. I've got the electrolyzer relatively low. I'm producing approximately, well, I'm running through about 22 to 23 amps right now and you can see it's working pretty well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a rate check and the way I do this this is going out to the, um, the bucket outside I pull this off and put this tube on here it will lift this bo bottle up there's a black line here this represents 500 mils so when the second finger gets to the top, I'll connect these two. And we're looking for at least a litre. There you go. We'll look for at least a litre in under a minute. Now obviously the more amperage you put in, the more gas you produce in a shorter space of time. Right now I'm running at 22 at, sorry, 24 amps and we are looking at about 25 seconds there we go there's the black mark it's out the water I'd say it was about 26 seconds like I say this is just at 24 amps um, this unit has actually kicked out three liters a minute running in the region of about 48 amps um, this breaker is 30 amp unit so I've got no concern about tripping that. It will run on the amp gauge at 30 amps without this tripping. At 30 amps it produces about one and a third litres in a minute. Um, the unit has got four neutral plates in between each positive and negative. A total of 21 plates. I'll just run through it with you. It's got a positive, four neutrals, a negative, four neutrals, a positive, four neutrals, a negative, four neutrals, a positive. It doesn't even get warm to the touch. I mean, this is what I like about this unit. You can see that the water level stays just below this hole here. And that's the reason why I had to set this up with two inlets for the water and two outlets for the gas. I suppose I should send this outside. Now we'll go outside and I'll show you the bubbling. I don't know whether you can see that. Pretty straightforward. It's important that this unit stays full. If the water level goes down to say halfway, you will lose half your, of your production. Um, through trial and error, I've manipulated the plates, I've ran it with three neutrals, I've ran it with five neutrals, and this seems to produce the most gas for the least amount of energy being produced. Now this particular unit, you can have, you can move this round the other way. Have the bolt, have the positive coming out out of the other side. Have the negative coming out the other side. You can mix and match them. It will run vertically. It will run at an angle like that. Some of them are called diamond units, and they're, they're set up like that. It really doesn't make any difference. You could probably push it over on its side. It's still going to work. Once again the gas goes up the tube, 
to the top of this reservoir comes down into the reservoir the water going in causes a space down here which is automatically filled by this earlier on I only had one going in and one coming out and the water level was round about here I was losing it's taking probably seven or eight seconds longer to produce a litre the secret is you've got to keep it full I even tried using a small pump this is a windscreen washer pump kind of works okay but it's noisy and they're not really designed for continuous use now the pulse width modulator which is in here if you look at the amperage you can actually turn it down turn it way down it's running at 10 10 amps right now I think you can see that the the gas has slowed down a little bit it won't run any more than about 24 right now because the electrolyzer is a, a little bit on the weak side but like I said my, my object was to produce a product a generator that would produce in excess of a liter of gas a minute with as little heat as possible unit using as little a fewer amps as possible and I think I've achieved that